Okay, welcome back everybody to another video. So, in my last, in the video for I will not post, I messed up. But, what, so today guys, we will be going over, um, <coughs> sorry. So, in the last video, we went over pathfinding data for AI, which like this brute. And today guys, we will be using this tag editor called Gorilla. It is a tag editing cool tool for hero free and more. In order to open Gorilla and Sapien at the same time, you have to go to your locations of your file, which is your whatever your C drive or your D drive and then C and then this file path you see in one of these two C drive or D drive. For me it's D drive. And you click on Gorilla, and I won't click on it because we only have it open here. Basically, what you do is you go to File, go to File, Open, and then you go to Pelkin dot physics model. Pelkin this model, um, this model, and then you order double click it, or you press Open, double click it. It's easier. And then it'll open, and then you scroll, so so until you find materials. Then this will be set. Um, this will be set to machine, and you want to set this to none. What? And see, it will be set to machine like this. You want to set it to completely none. And in order to save that, um, you hold Control and then click S. Or you can go up to here, file, and then save. I only have it saved. And 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 then and in order to make the fi Pelican fireball, just scroll, scroll, scroll down a little bit. So then, once you change that to none, once you change the this to none, from machine machine to none. You close all that and you go to file open again. Then instead of clicking on the figure model, you press on token dot vehicle. Then it should open real quick. Then under this unit, you won't you don't want to press on that. And you just go a couple under under that. Then we'll say seats. And then um then you change the lamp to um, Warhawk, but there's another thing you have to change in the flags. So it should say um, invalid for player and invalid for non player. It will have that already checked off, but invalid for player um, is basically you want that checked off, and then you change, then you change the entry marker name. To Pelican D, so you just copy this, and then you change the lab, which is this, to Warhawk underscore D, and then and then you go and then you save that, which I always have it saved. You go into your scenario thing, your your, and then you and then you go to the vehicle tab, go to units, vehicles. Objects, and scenario objects, and then units, and then vehicles, and then you place down um um a thing, and then you can change from, then you change that from from whatever from none or whatever you have to Pelican, to Pelican, and as you can see, it glitched out a little bit, but so basically, what you want to do to like make it um better you can just pit it up and then the pelican should just spawn like that then you press tab and then you spawn right near the pelican but then I have to kill these guys real quick give me a second team back kid <laughs> okay so back to the bit so what you do basically oh my him so it won't show the theme but you press it won't show the tag theme 
But what you just have to do is the all B, you press that, reload, so then you press all B, and then you get into the Pelican. And the fly, it's kind of hard to fly. Yeah, so basically that's what you do, and now you got the Pelican. So basically what, real quick overcrap, what we did is we went into Gorilla, and we choose the model file. In order, and usually when you don't change the model file to none, the fixes file, the Pelican will just fall through the ground. So as a phantom, but the phantom will just not fall through the ground and just be glitched. And in order to fix that, um, you go into materials and then you do what I just showed you. You change that to none. And then, and then you change that to none. And this will work for Pelican and the Phantom. So then you change this. So basically what we're doing here is we're changing invalid for player. We turn that off. And then we're changing it from a Pelican to the game thinks it's a Warhog. And then it thinks it's a Warhog, but it actually is a Pelican. The game thinks it is a Warhog, though. So that's how, that's how we, like... Basically, it's not very on a scripting side, but this Pelican is like, I think, invincible. Yeah, so that's the Pelican, um, for the now, um, I'll show you a little bit of a review. And you can also, you can also have a seat in the Pelican. If you walk in here, you can have a widen in the pelican. I did not know that actually. So you can widen the pelican too. Yeah, but I showed that for that thing. Yeah, so I didn't know you can widen it. Okay, so basically that's the pelican. Yeah, so that's the pelican. So that's the Pelican, and 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 then next up is the Phantom. Once again, um, the Phantom is in the tags. What you do is the material. You go to the material thing. Instead of the Pelican, you go to vehicles, and then no, then you go to Phantom. Then you go to the physics model, which is that. If I don't say it right. And then what you do is, is, is you usually scroll down and you go to materials. Go to materials, but why I'm showing you a different, because this phantom, phantom has, has, um, more materials. So, you change, you, it, so then you go to hard, you think, I think you go to, yeah, you go to this. And then, and then, and then what you do for the Phantom is, is you go to, and then you change that to, from machine to none, and then it'll fix it, and then you just, and then what you do next is to go into, um, you go into the Phantom dot, dot vehicle model, I mean vehicle, yeah, the vehicle, mean. and then you go into, and then you scroll down, and scroll down, and scroll down, down to see the vehicle tab seats I mean and instead of changing it to warhog you have to change it to a little bit different so um so then you change this to warhog but instead of the marker name if you because so, the scepter phantom has a gun you change both of these to gun and then we'll give it a gun which is the plasma normal cannon gun and what you do is, and then you go into here, once you did that, you go to press tab again. And then you go into vehicles, you place another vehicle, which is that, uh, and you change it from Pelican, and then, if you don't already have it, you go to edit types, vehicles, and then you find a phantom. Phantom, and phantom.vehicle, add tag. And give it a second to load in, and also you change in about for player again. And you change that from Phantom, from Phantom to yeah. So that's the Phantom. It will be. It sometimes it'll glitch out. 
Yeah, so sometimes the phantom is bigger, that's fine. So you just have to, like, it, um, you just have to, like, move it, um, like that. Just use your little thing. And I'll show you this phantom is completely drivable. Completely 100% drivable. So see, as the phantom is drivable, you can also shoot. You should be able to shoot. And to go up, it's A. Should be able to shoot it. Can you shoot it? Last time I could shoot it, so you can definitely shoot it. Yeah, see, you're shooting it. Yeah, see, you can shoot it, though. Yeah, so you can definitely 100% shoot this. It's 100% working and shootable. Yeah, so I just died for some reason. Sometimes it, sometimes you glitch and then I'll just press tab. And then what you do is, so that's the phantom and... Yeah, so that's how you get Fireball Phantoms, and we will also go over um, these. These are a vehicle, but they're not rideable, because I always try to gain them to be rideable. Yeah, so they're supposed to toggle you, but they are a vehicle for some reason. See, I can't get them. I can't at all get in them. Yeah, I always tried setting it to Warhog and all that. Yeah, so... So don't try it with these turrets if you're on this map. Who are these? These are a vehicle. These are these are just little things like well, at your Yeah, so basically that's that and to end off this video I'll do a little clip of me dying. So that's so that's the barrier right there. And basically that's it. And I will go over in the next videos of more scripting pathing once I learn it. So I am new to scripting in this game. So expect that video to not come out very soon yet. But that video will come out. After I learn on the scripting side um, of the... Uh, this is a spoiler a little bit. We will be going over Pelican AI movement, which is the AI in this Pelican. Move to a certain point, which is up there, and we'll have them drop, then and then we'll have them fly away, and then the next video will be, we have them, we having them on um, drop off troop, the pelican dropping off troops. So that will be in the next video, guys. Oh, soon. So make sure you like and subscribe. By the way, everybody, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you get everybody out this video who doesn't know how to mod tools. Hello. And share this video with friends who want to learn mod tools. Peace out and salutation.